Wir reden dann halt bei 2005-2006-2006, I meet Akadi the first time in Heidelberg. Heidelberg, in, uh, um, he has a little, a little uh, in, in, in a uh, praxis, in, in praxis room, mm -hmm. yes, and I made my first session. Uh -huh. Because we have we have a friend together, and uh, the friend uh, use his um, treatment, and uh, I see I see this person after some time, uh, and I say, hey, the person looks good. Yes, he looks <laughs> more more vitalization. He has more vitalization healthy, yeah? and more healthy. Looks more healthy, mm -hmm. and uh, okay. So I made my first session. It was very special, and. Um, It, it was uh, great for me to make this session. I have a uh, feel in my body and I feel in my brain. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm more clear in my brain. And, but in this time, we have only very old machines. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot program the machines and uh, you must go all, all, every five minutes to make the mask on and off. five minutes to mm -hmm. make the mask off so you can't, you can't use it in. Like you no know, doctors or physicians can use it, yes. So um, in that time, 2006, no doctors or in German we call high practitioners uh, uh, um, use this therapy mm -hmm. for sick people. Yes. Well, well, only, only spots. We started in 2000, 2007. Uh, in the end of 2007, uh, Oleg comes from Australia to Germany, in uh, uh, to Düsseldorf, and uh, shows his first machines. You can program, you can uh, mm -hmm. uh, make a program, and the program switches uh, alone. Yes, from the machine from hypoxic to hyperoxic. So. This is the time we start. We, we sell the first machines in the beginning of 2008. Mm -hmm. And now we have sell in, this, in the last 10 or 12 years all the machines together in the whole world, I think, near than 1,000 machines. Mm -hmm. Yes. Arkady started it here, yeah? He started here. But he here. also started in New York too, in the United States. He, he went there. He, He was so he from, from 2000 to 2004, four years uh, he works yeah. in, in New York with Hypoxico. And we still work with him. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Did he also, but in recent was another doctor, doctor from Australia, Russian? It's, it's not doctor. Oleg, not doctor. Oleg is, is, the, is the manufacturer from, mm -hmm. the, from the system. Mm -hmm. He comes from Russia to Australia and uh, his father, Uh, make machines, uh, build machines in Russia. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Arkady Ar also uh, uh, trained many practitioners in Germany, yeah? many, many mm -hmm. practitioners. Yes. And I know he trained like countless number of uh, doctors in Russia as well. Mm -hmm. And he's, he was just recently, like a month ago, mm -hmm. uh, also training doctors in Russia again because he went from Mallorca from Spain to yes, Moscow. I, or, yeah. I, 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 I meet Arkady in, in December. In December in Berlin, we have also a seminar in Berlin. Oh, Arkady really? makes a stop in Berlin and mm -hmm. flies from Berlin to Moscow. And I think uh, mm -hmm. we have the training. This so he like a legendary man too. Yeah, Arkady like in kind of origins of the net. Yeah, I know he also trained the uh, one African woman who established five world Yes, years. yeah, uh, Kiplakat, La, La, Lona, Lona Kiplakat. It's uh, um, after training, he got five records on like yes. medium distance, which is like you know extremely competitive. Like this is like the highest either level, like of, of yes. like of course many many great sportsmen has used this technology. Well, many would not even tell, of course. <laughs> they, 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 they don't tell it. Yes, they don't tell. Uh, Lance, Lance Armstrong. Uh, um, also use use so this training mm -hmm. in the machine mm -hmm. the same as Boteca actually I know mm -hmm. Boteca method also many but 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 you know I, I have some uh, good sportsmen and we have also in the uh, uh, 25 or 30 machines from the best players in our in the football players German football and uh, 
and I have also in, in tennis, the tennis. Mm -hmm. yes. But no one, no one from the sportsmen or, or from the trainers knows about oxygen inside the cells and CO2. No <laughs> one knows it. You mean how to breathe? <laughs> how to breathe? <laughs> yeah, of course. Breathe. Everything is, yes, you must breathe with the mouth, not with the nose, with the mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, big topic, of course. It's yes, like, yes. Uh, they don't know if, if yes. they, they, they're bracing more, only, only with the nose and they're bracing normal and slower during the exercise, then they use more oxygen in the muscles. Yes, they have more oxygen in the muscle. And, and these sportsmen who can use Effi efficient, effi eff efficient, uh, efficient, efficiently, mm -hmm. uh, the oxygen inside his cells, he has more chance to win. To win. If the CP is high, because for low CP, like when they have CP 15, 20, probably even 25 seconds, yes. they get better results if they open mouth, like running. Uh, ah, if, if, if the postman has uh, only 25, then yeah. he use better results when he, he used the most. And of course, the, uh, the target is to get better result. So to get better result, we have to open mouth. But that happens again, like I have videos where I explain it. What happens that we see uh, our CO2 actually controls our breath. This is physiology. Mm -hmm. So oxygen mm -hmm. effect of like right. 100 times less, much, much less. So CO2 effect is 100 times stronger. But what happens that CO2 during uh, rest at rest and during exercise about the same it's unchanged so if we start running we produce more CO2 I mean, yes. let's say like easy jogging like five seven times high metabolism we generate five seven times more CO2 so our breathing will be five seven times more intensive if we run a bit faster maybe ten times it is more intensive so therefore if let's say I breathe slowly at rest like medical norm is six liters a minute Mm -hmm. Then I start exercise, I need to have 60 liters a minute, yeah, 10 mm -hmm. times more, mm -hmm. quite uh, simple mathematics, but average person now has about, uh, sick people have commonly 15 liters mm -hmm. at rest, mm -hmm. and athletes, if CP is 20 seconds, he would have about 12 liters a minute, mm -hmm. so if you start exercise, it's also 10 times more. So ah, instead okay, of 12, okay. it would be 120. So 120 and the other one has 60 and uh, 6 and they use only, they need only 60. Yes, yes exactly. It. So and so 60 you can, you can do through the nose. It's, not a, it's natural actually to do through the nose because if you watch very healthy uh, native Africans, who mm -hmm. I, 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 I watched many of them who won the like, last Olympics in London, sometimes gold, many, many gold medals, silver mm -hmm. medal, bronze medal, they can have all race through the nose. No matter, 5 kilometers, 10 marathon, on the press, all, all through the nose. All through the nose. All yes. through the nose. And, and it's, they, they win. What, how it is possible? Well, if he breathes little at rest, we can breathe little during physical exercise. So from 4, it becomes 40. And 40, you know, like it's, it's the same how we show, like, let's say, if you watch movie and if you pay attention, how we show, like, Man in Black or Superman, you know, <laughs> they run, run, and we don't see how they breathe. And sick people, vice versa, we start easy running, <sighs> yes. and we, we sweat, and we, yeah. uh, you can hear we breathe it like 20 meters, you know, 30 meters, because we breathe very loud, very heavy. Why? Because we breathe heavy at rest, so we breathe heavy, even much, much heavy during exercise. If you breathe little at rest, you breathe much less, then you can have nose breathing. What I found with our uh, most like, advanced students, if we get 50, 60 seconds, we like nose breathing. We can breathe through the nose. The whole the open mouth, no, no difference, no, no improvement, difference. Yeah, yeah. No, no improvement yeah. at all. But if you have 20, 25, even with 30 seconds morning CP, 30 in the morning, which is very, very hard goal as well. 40, 40 seconds. 30. 30, 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. 40, 50 is the transition zone where maybe mouth breathing, maybe half advantage, maybe not. But with 30, uh, uh, in my experience with students that I have, they uh, would get still better results with mouth breathing, ah. even with 30 seconds. So therefore, it has like a, a positive effect on the result, but not on health. <laughs> so Buteyka method teach to do <coughs> exercise exclusively for health, and this is why Dr. Buteyka, since when he started already, like in 50s, 60s, 
uh, his uh, kind of observation was that Mao breathing is very destructive for people with uh, all type of health problems, and therefore they need to do all exercise, 100%. In and out, only through the nose, all mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. and that's a very. If we cannot slow so down, what, stop, take rest, anything, but only through the nose. And what do you think about the seconds? 40, 40 seconds, up to forty seconds in the morning CP. Right? Then I believe yes, at, up, at, up at 50, 60, at 50, 40, 40. I'm not sure uh -huh. because I did not have that much statistic like experience. And but with, yeah. it's, it's also kind of not so common for people to have forty. Like I, I myself, for example, I would be, if I try to, when I was improving and uh, breaking through 40, I would get 30, 35 in the morning for maybe days, weeks, if I kind of trying to find the ways, like doing at night, like certain things, practicing like uh, breathing exercises, breath holds, steps, like special exercises, maximum breath holds and so on. But then if I get breakthrough, I get all of a sudden from 30, 35 up to 50 CP. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then my sleep also like strange because I would have six, 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 six hours, and then it's four hours. And then it's four hours. And the next yes, then it's four hours all the time. When I have CP fifty six. And you feel fresh if you're going. Well, of course, it's a huge difference because you wake up with uh, four hours of sleep and CP fifty. You just wake up like you know. You, wake up? you, you fall asleep with one minute. Yes. You know, go to sleep, close your eyes, and you fall. Yes, asleep. you fell. You fell also faster. Okay. It's extremely sleep. Uh, so so, fast so high CP. <laughs> can, can we say? Can we say, uh, for example, um, some people for for uh, a woman has. For example, 50, 50 seconds CP in the day, yes? In the morning CP, 12. 12? Uh, no, it, it, for example, I, I think... Possible. So no, possible. 12 would be extreme, but let's and say 20, 30, yeah? I mean, it's maybe that, it, that uh, she has a problem to fall asleep in the night? Uh, uh, in, well, you see, if, if CP in the morning is low, that means sleep is long. The sleep and, is long. Right? And the sleep, when sleep is long, what we, what I know, for like again from experience of students, but also from medical science, medical statistics, that highest mortality, highest chances of attack, it's four to seven o'clock in the morning, early morning hours, as we call it in epidemiological medical research. So four to seven is the wrong, the worst time. But what happens before four o'clock? And these are about four five hours of sleep. Yeah. Most people feel sleep quite okay, not too bad. Mm -hmm. It's the last hours of sleep which causes a lot of heart attacks, asthma attacks, stroke, yes. epilepsy, and so on. Yes. So, and that's kind of uh, corresponds with the idea. You see, when your CP gets so high that your sleep gets to four hours, there is not enough time mm -hmm. for these abnormalities to develop. Mm -hmm. And Boteke believed, I think it, uh, his belief, I cannot like quote exactly, but my belief for sure, that human body is not designed to sleep longer than more than four hours. The four hours, Yes, our yeah. body is not designed, not designed to sleep longer than four hours. Yes, yes I believe, absolutely. Because uh, the, the, this is how it ex explains why 90% of people, you mentioned before yourself today, that a lot of people have, I know it's more than 90% of students, probably more than 95% of students, who have lowest CP in the morning. If I look in the daily log, I see the numbers. I see morning CP, I see CP before session, after session. If we do two, three, four sessions, I see it all the day, how the CP changes. And all, what I see here today, again, 95% of students, the morning CP is the shortest, the lowest number. The shortest. And it can be as low as twice less. And, so, and we know themselves, if I ask, when do you feel worse? Of course, when you wake up. When you wake up, like you, you know, most people need coffee, it takes one, two hours yes. before the brain starts to work. Yes. And that's huge because with CP again, like CP 60 seconds, you wake up, like you jump out and you are totally fresh. You are as fresh as when you, you are even better before <laughs> going to sleep. Because when yes. you go to sleep, you feel a little bit tired. Like I, I myself with CP 60, I would sleep from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. That was mm -hmm. standard. And 6 a.m. is very early time. Mm -hmm. I would wake up at 6 and go running right away because it's a lot of time before day starts. So, but at 2 o'clock you already feel sleepy, a little muscle, and you, at 6 you wake up and you're totally fresh and you, you're ready to jump because your CP is huge. You did not lose anything at night because that's the problem most people do and that's huge, of course, uh, factor. That's why, let's say, if I teach a course, 
we spent, I spent like class two and three, which are mostly devoted to sleep, to techniques, methods, and ways how to, we can improve the morning CP, because mm -hmm. once it's improved, it's a uh, whole different game. It's much easier for students to progress, and there occasionally could be not many, few, very, very few people, as I mentioned, maybe five, ten percent, for whom morning CP is high. Maybe lucky people or whatever. Some people naturally sleep uh, little. Like I met few people. Few people probably would be even like five hours. Like sometimes sick people sleep five hours. Very good sleep and we are happy with sleep. Well, I'm it's possible. The last time from after from twelve o'clock, so I'm going to bed and uh, I wake up. I think the first time at five o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's great if you can tolerate five. Yes, but most people must one, one hour again in the bed. But I, I don't sleep any any deep in, in this time. I, I, and after six, I'm going to stay up. Yes. But the average is now in seven and a half on the western in the western seven and a half is the average statistic. Yes. Yeah, like yes. we take all people. Of course, sick would be still longer if we go to hospitals, like people who are severely sick, eight, nine. I, I myself, when I discovered Budeka, my sleep was 10-11 hours. 10-11 hours and CP was like 7-10 uh, seconds when I started. Yes? Oh yeah, to, it, to, it, in 2000 it, when it, I started, it, it, you, my CP you, was very, very long. If you, in the time when you started with Budeka, you have 10-10 uh, uh, seconds in the morning? 7-10 seconds, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now? What is your CP? Well, it's, it's various, but uh, as I told, I have long periods when I get CP very high, so I know I know how to teach it. I know how to how it feels feels. So I experienced many times. So that's yeah, one that's video. Great. great. And now I, I I I think I don't ask you before how, how old you how old how is your age? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 80, 80, 80. <laughs> no. I'm fifty five now. Fifty five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same the same age as. Okay. Well, so fifty five. <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs>